storm. Yep. Talk about that damage that you don't need at this time and place in pro wrestling. Well, <sighs> this is something right here, I think. Something not good. Uh, it's the, the Jordan Miles debacle. The the smile shirt, if, yeah. if you will. Um, so if... I would assume by now anybody listening to this has already seen or heard, but long story short, and you can see we've posted kind of a, a picture trying to explain if people don't know what the whole big deal is. Bottom line is WWE created a shirt for ACH, who is going under the Jordan Miles name in NXT, which when I first heard this whole stuff, I was like, who the hell is Jordan Miles? And it's like, oh, ACH. All right. Well, who's ACH? Um, Jordan Miles. Yeah, but I mean, what's ACH <laughs> stand for? It's not just Ash. Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's basically just like um, RKO for Randy Keith Orton. It's okay. his it's his initials in real life. So we don't know what his name is, though. Who doesn't know? You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Why not? Because it's not on here. What's his name? Is it supposed to be? Actually, it is on there if you actually read what I've written. <laughs> but it's Albert Hardy or Albert Christian Hardy. Oh, and, and he it, can't it, go by that it, it name because he's 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 not a Hardy boy. Christian, he's not Christian. That's why. <laughs> okay. Um. So they they came out with this shirt that is basically his name morphed into a giant, um, uh, a Sambo smile. And if you don't know what a Sambo smile is, visit our Facebook page. Look at the pictures. I don't know how better to explain it other than blackface. It's a black person. Big red lips, giant white teeth, always grinning and being goofy. It's it's very it's it's very racist and derogatory, basically. Yep. Now, to to WWE's defense, they never sold the shirt. It was never released. But um, the fact that somebody not only came up with it, but they made alterations to make it look more and more the way it did means that somebody thought of it, somebody okayed it, and somebody thought enough to continue working on it. Vince. (sighs) Everybody knows my feelings of Vince and and colored folk, African Americans, any kind of non-Caucasian wrestlers, to be honest. Yeah. And um, we're going to get into the whole colored people thing at the end of this, too. (laughs) Oh yeah, there's there's a there's a lot to go through here. Uh, so why don't why don't you start off with some of the text, Pasty? You wanna? All right. It, it started with a tirade of texts. Yes, yes, it did. ACH started out by tweeting, "I will keep posting this till my voice is heard. I'm not sorry for anything I say or do. Representation is important. If this is Vince McMahon and Triple H's vision of me." then this is a slap in the face to every African-American performer, fan, and supporter. This shirt is what's wrong with America and the wrestling industry because they are blind and stuck in their ways. They don't see the disrespect in producing a design that screams racism racism against African-Americans. They have been blinded for years and they need a reprogramming because they are ignorant. The whole WWE system is fraud. They created the system where you can't trust anyone. You grow cold, stone cold, (laughs) and you grow (laughs) apart from what you love the most. The fact Hulk Hogan is still employed after giving the locker room an apology for being caught says enough. Hashtag for the culture. For the culture. Tupac once said, I'm not saying I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the brain that will change the world. I'm that brain. For the culture. For the culture. I've used this shirt as fuel. I knew the shirt existed, and my soul hasn't been able to rest properly since I've laid eyes on it. My voice will be heard. My true opinion will be heard. My people will have their moment. Fuck Ring of Honor, too. I'm the only allowed one. I'm o- No. No. They. They. <laughs> the only. Okay. <laughs> they only allowed one African-American to be the top guy, while guys like Cedric Alexander, 
Malcolm Bivens and myself had to choose chase this visible carrot on a stick. Name another African American who has reached great heights other than this Uncle Tom. So let's stop there, Pasty. That was his first kind of uh, string of rants there. It started out understandable. And then it got unprofessional, but probably, again, understandable. Probably something you shouldn't put out there in social media. But when you're heated, we've all done that. You're heated, Uh you might click the send button and then be like, oh, crap. And uh, to me, once he went into the... Once he went in, into calling um, uh, Jay Lethal uh, Uncle Tom and and going off on Ring of Honor, he really, really crossed the line. Because now he's bringing down a successful African-American in pro wrestling who's yeah. amazingly talented and worked years and years to get where he was. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about Kofi, to be honest. Yeah. Um, what do you, what do you have to say on this so far before we go further? I think he's in the right because I think it's, it's 2019. This shirt should not even be considered, let alone brought to him as a design option, let alone gone forward with, uh, he does, he's heated, he's heated. And also, social media doesn't help because they oh, need that attention. It. As soon as you start to get that attention, you want to go more and more. You know what I mean? Yep. Because you've got it. You, people are listening. People are watching. And, yeah, I think he, he may have gone too far. But uh, as we're going to find out later in the show and even more next week, he's not the only one who's got complaints about Ring of Honor. No. So then, Pasty, WWE actually sent out a response, which I'm shocked, but proud they did, because I feel you almost have to in a PR deal like this. Uh But it might not have been the best response that they could have given either. What they said was, Albert Hardy Jr., a.k.a. Jordan Miles, approved this t-shirt for sale. As always, we work collaboratively with all of our performers to develop logos and merchandise designs and get their input and approval before proceeding. Which I think a lot of wrestlers would argue with that, but nonetheless, <laughs> they, go, they go on to say, this was the same process with Albert, and we Stardust responded swiftly, one, really. <laughs> swiftly once he later requested that the logo slash t-shirt be redesigned. No t-shirts were sold. Now, when you read that right off the bat, you're like, well, hey, there, you know, maybe, what, what's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? But ACH actually rebuttaled that at this point, Pasty, or Jordan Miles, or Albert Hardy, if you will, where he said, when I originally saw the design, I was uncomfortable. Rather than addressing the issue, I decided to counter offer with another. Baker Landon lied to my face. He said Triple H wanted this design, so my hands were tied. I spoke with Triple H in person, and his impression was that I approved the shirt. He went on to say, don't believe me? Email him and ask him yourself. Go fuck yourself, Baker. And he sent a screenshot of... um, Oh, that's the wrong screenshot, actually. (laughs) (laughs) Which is funny. I put in the wrong screenshot. He put in a screenshot that had um, had an email between Landon Baker and Triple H, where Triple H said, I like it, but we could still improve on it. I want the letters to look more teethy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> not good. Triple not H good. Got a, or but Man also... Got a hold of his phone. <laughs> <laughs> also, the fact that... Um, At least according to ACH, Triple H said that he was under the impression that ACH approved it. So it's possible that Baker Landon is playing both sides here. Triple H, he approved it. ACH, uh, he said you have to take it. You know, there could be a little bit of shenanigans involved there. Yeah. Uh, He also went on to put out a video 
where he said that WWE does not care about blacks. He flipped them off and said a few other things. By the time I started going through all this, that tweet had been deleted, and I could not find it streamed anywhere, surprisingly, so I don't have the audio clip like I wanted to play. But, folks, if you want to hear it, go out and look for it. Maybe you can find it. If you find it, send us the link, and we'll put it up on facebook.com forward slash beefsticks. And then, as we all do, Pasty, he uh, had some time to sleep on it. He woke up the next morning. I'm sure he got a talking to from a lot of people. And he uh, he put out an apology. You want to let the folks, let them in on what the apology was. Yeah, he said. It's a bit of an apology. <laughs> My tweets yesterday were completely disrespectful and were unprofessional. I've offended a ton of people and used anger to fuel me. With that being said, I'd like to take this time to state and apologize for not giving a shit about what others think of me. The angrier I have and the anger I have inside of me has been built up for years now. Call me what you want, but you'll never be able to call me a fake. I've been lied to, used, and often mistreated by others who I have viewed as associates. I've tiptoed around, kept quiet, even took some L's when necessary. Emotionally charged up due to the shirt which triggered past emotions. I'm never going to be sorry for being me, nor will I take back my words. I'm the damn professional wrestler in the world and universe today. <laughs> I think he meant best, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the damn professional wrestler. <laughs> I like that. He needs to sell his shirt. I'm the damn professional wrestler. <laughs> yeah. My ribs are touching and I'm tired of waiting. Time to snatch plates from those who haven't been who have been eating for far too long and always get seconds while guys like myself have to eat crumbs from the floor like an unwanted child. For four years. I gave my all to a promotion only to find out that you could only reach so high just as long as you didn't s surpass certain people. I never begged for anything. I never kissed no ass, nor did rub elbows with the right people to get ahead. I hustled, worked hard. I didn't call Hunter every day to get booked in New Japan. Shout out to New Japan Pro Wrestling. I earned it. Why would you call Hunter to get booked in New Japan? He, he's saying, like, um, how, you know, some people call Hunter every day just to try to get on WWE. He's like, he didn't have oh. to call Hunter every day to get a job in New Japan. He did I it off you. of his own effort. <laughs> I know, he's a lot, you know, he's, he worded it kind of awkward. It took me yeah. a while to figure out what, I, I'm, what I'm interpreting he's saying. I could be wrong. Maybe there's just some cat named... You know, Hunter Jones that worked in New Japan. Got him out there. I don't Triple know. H is playing both sides, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be the guy and no approval or and if no and of no one will allow me to be in that spot, <laughs> I shall blaze my own trail to that spot, rather it be by the approval of others or not. Today, lowercase, I shall continue to go the distance. Today, uppercase, I shall lee moving forward. <laughs> Today I shall rise up from my past ashes like a dark phoenix and promote change in this industry. Remember these words. I am the best in the world. And no man or woman will stop me from being honest. Go the distance. Hashtag miles ahead. Hashtag for the culture. So... He admitted – it started out great. He admitted he was disrespectful <laughs> he and was unprofessional. He was on the right track, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, man, then that guy just let his anger get the best of him. I dig he's being super honest yeah. and forthright. Yeah. Um, Some one, company's going to take him on and let him be authentic. Oh, for sure, for sure. And he's been great in the indies. I've, I've loved ACH. He's awesome. I, and I always knew he would never get anywhere in WWE. That's we're not we're not fooling ourselves. But uh, a silver lining on this, he is now selling a new shirt on Pro Wrestling Tees, which reads "Fuck Racism, Watch Wrestling," and "Fuck" is spelled F percentage hashtag K, which is cool, so you can wear it. And all proceeds from the shirt, all proceeds, not uh, not profits, all proceeds will be donated to the ADAA, the Anxiety and Depression Association of America Foundation. And uh, hopefully they're going to send him some uh, free pills. He could use them. <laughs> 
and I know you shouldn't joke about uh, mental illnesses, 